USA Radio News with Wendy King. Following former special counsel Robert Mueller's testimony in Congress, President Trump characterized the Russia probe as a phony cloud. And you know who knew it was a phony cloud more than anyone else? It was Schiff and Nadler and Schumer and Pelosi, every one of them. House Intelligence Chairman Adam Schiff sees things otherwise as Democrats make their case. Before we embark on a course as significant to the country as the impeachment of a president, I want to make sure that we can make that case to the jury of the American people. In testifying, Mueller offered this response to the president's praise of WikiLeaks during the 2016 presidential race. Problematic is is an understatement in terms of what it displays, in terms of giving some... Uh, I don't know, hope or some boost to what is and should be illegal activity. This is USA Radio News. North Korea has fired two unidentified projectiles from near its east coast town of Wonsan into the eastern sea. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said their military is closely monitoring the situation and they're still analyzing exactly what the North launched. Last May, the North launched a barrage of projectiles, including two short-range missiles. In June, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and President Trump agreed to resume negotiations on its nuclear programs. Pyongyang is now calling on the U.S. and South Korea to cancel their combined military exercises, which is slated for August. Boeing is facing a growing list of lawsuits, the latest filed by the family of Army Captain Antoine Lewis, who was killed in the Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 crash. They called on American, Southwest, and United to drop the 737 MAX. Antoine's widow, Alina Lopez Lewis. My husband's death is a direct result of corporate greed gone wrong. You're listening to USA Radio News. Rutger Hauer, best known for his role as antagonist Roy Batty in 1982's Blade Runner, has died at the age of 75. All those moments will be lost in time like tears in rain. He died in his native country, the Netherlands, after dealing with an illness. Hauer also starred in Sin City, Batman Begins, the original Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Flesh and Blood, The Hitchhiker, and Lady Hawk. He won a Golden Globe in 1988 for his role in a World War II television movie, Escape from Sobibar. Hauer is survived by his wife of 50 years, Eneke, and a daughter from a previous marriage, Aisha. Celebrations over the reported resignation of Puerto Rico's embattled governor, Ricardo Rosseo, were apparently a bit premature. His spokesman put out a statement saying he has not resigned and he's presently in Puerto Rico. It also reiterated what Rosseo has said in recent days, that he is listening to the people and reflecting. The statement said there were a lot of incorrect rumors being spread and that whatever decision is made, it will be communicated officially to the public. For USA Radio News, I'm Wendy King.